Real opinions, no edits. This is the All Things Go podcast. Oh, he's ready. And today we are at the Crazy Crab Bag <laughs> with our special guest, one of the owners, Miss Erica Ash, my bestie. Hey. Shout out, shout out. Hey. <laughs> so, yes. This is where we are. This is what's going down. <laughs> let them know, know where we at. Let them know where we at. Let them know where yeah, we at. Can't see much. <laughs> so, Erica, where are we? What's the location? We are at the Crazy Crab Bag located in Fed Hill, Baltimore, Maryland, 1741 Light Street. Yeah. Very nice. All right. You want to have a couple whites too. coming in here. We well, yeah. are. Yes. Hopefully. Everybody. It's for everybody. Yeah. Black, everybody. purple, white, green. Yeah. All it's of for it. anybody who got money. Yeah. yeah. You got that bag. <laughs> all all the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how did it start? Where, where did we, we begin? We, where, but you know, <laughs> what? Oh, <okay. laughs> y'all, all right, yeah, <laughs> y'all. Oh, I'm all right, but let's just be honest. This is our second go round of this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out my words again because the first take was like perfect. Yeah, it was. It was flowing. It was flowing, it was flowing but we had to start over. So let's. Let's do a shot again. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. We're going to salute Shout out. to the Crazy Crab Bag. Yeah. Cheers. All things go podcast. Clink, 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 clink. I was drinking too much last night. She Don't being nobody care. We always drink. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm going to try to come with, like, all the energy I had the first time. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, we're in a society where second of all. <laughs> but, all right, so, my question is that. <laughs> so, y'all, real shit. We're in a society where... Mm -hmm. You know, people kind of get on Instagram and they see the end result. You know, they see people making millions of dollars and they see people with these businesses and they think that that's just where they arrive at. Mm -hmm. So tell us your journey and how we got to the Crazy Crab Bag restaurant. Okay. So it's a long story. How much time we got? We got enough. All right. <laughs> I mean, we got less than before. We got enough. <laughs> <laughs> so the Crazy Crab Bag, you know... It's a blessing from God. It's, it's a, I don't even know how I even got here myself. But well, what happened was, what happened was, what happened was, <laughs> <laughs> I was an event coordinator and I'm a luxury wedding planner by trade. So I had, I had, still have a business, Erica Lindsay Events. And pre COVID, I had a couple big contracts with some corporate uh, companies for networking and events. And once COVID hit, they was like, yeah, no, we can't afford you no more. So, oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> no, all. Shit. Shit. I had I to my glass of all up, all us entrepreneurs. I had to pivot, and that. I mm -hmm. had a grand idea. I actually over wine and probably a little bit of depression. I had made me a seafood <laughs> boil, and one of my girlfriends was over there, and she was like, oh my god, this is so good. And I was telling her like, she can really cook. I really did want to do that like long time ago in my mm -hmm. previous life. I wanted to have a seafood boil restaurant back before it was popping. And she was like, her husband has a restaurant, and she's like, well, maybe you should try like a pop-up shop at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, girl, all right, whatever. Long story short, she had told a couple people, <clears throat> and they was calling me like, so, what's up? And I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about, but okay. But the pop-up was lit. But the pop-up was lit. It was okay. everything it was supposed to be, and my other half was like, eh, hey, you not going to be there. You going to get a food truck. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I was in a food truck, and the food, food truck was lit. Food trucks are not food trucks. The food ghetto. truck was a lot. <laughs> like, not, not, ghetto, not ghetto, but it's a lot. Yeah. And I'm saying this because uh, I did not have a food truck, but she made me work on the food truck one day. Yeah, she I did said, work yeah. On the food truck. made you. Yeah. I was okay. sliding on grease. Uh, where you at? Uh, I, you. I came for a fried lobster tail, which her fried lobster tails are amazing. So when you come, make yes, sure you order a fried lobster tail. That's waiting. all I came for. <laughs> I did not come to be sliding on grease <laughs> and bagging shit. Listen, we got real stories. We was in a shootout with the food truck, okay? Yo! I forgot! <laughs> we were in a room, yo! I forgot about this! The food truck was on TV. Like, like, You've been in that many shootouts? Like, she forgot about this one? Listen, I forgot about that. That shit was real. It 
know it's a real shit. Right. Like, like, well, well, let's just Like she's at bed. Like, no. Like she <laughs> pulled up at so a park. I was at. I don't. That's not Patterson Park. What that's park Curl Park. Curl Park. Curl park. Curl Stay park. away from Curl yeah, Park. Yeah. 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 Curl Park. Shout out to Curl Park. Yo, bitch, I really got shot and killed that day. Okay. Yeah. They did. Yeah. And they was running the whole thing. thing like. <laughs> Yo, all we heard was like. And it got getting closer and closer and closer to the food truck. It was crazy. I was like, so you gotta get in and stop cooking and drive away. No, not even drive off. And she had to unplug like the generator. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, so. What y'all done? What y'all did? Like, I was like, everybody get on the ground. Yeah, on the ground. And as we laying on the ground, like, oh, God, please don't let him get the propane tank because we're going to blow up. Oh, yes. God did. Good. We appreciate Real that on the God did. We're here. So we made it. We made it. That was just one of my many stories of the food truck Ooh, chronicles, which I, I, I think I'm going to write a book about it because yeah, you they show y'all the good stuff, but the food truck is a lot. But yeah. it's still, you know, it's a money maker. You just got to really be down for everything to come with it. Was that your last time going to Curl Park? That was my that very was last time. Shit. And every time I ride through that way, I said, I was in a full shootout right here. Like, wow. yeah, like a you real shit. They almost time. lost their life. Like, <laughs> the most spots. You're like, damn, I remember this shit. Like, yeah. But did you I do did. good that day? I did amazing that day. Yeah, because when, usually when people shooting, it's good. It was they all, it was, it was everybody was there. Everybody was there. It was crazy, it was, for real. It was a lot of the young people. The yeah, younger crowd was, was there. It so. was lit, but whew. It was a lot, but it was, yeah. we made it. We made it here today, which, yes, what happened with that was, I went from the food truck because of the whole shootout. I was like, yeah, I don't know about this life. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be somewhere the stationary. Stay hard. Yeah. So I called myself going to D.C. and I went to a cloud kitchen. Now I called yourself. You I went, went to D.C. like a fucking boss. I went yes. to D.C. Bossy. I was living really bossly in D.C. Yes. <laughs> in the penthouse. Okay. <laughs> On South Capitol with the Pentagon and going to work every day in the in the cl- crazy crab bag in the cloud kitchen. In the cloud that kitchen. Okay, no so it was the cloud kitchen. It made no money. Let's be the clear. The cloud kitchen didn't make no money. Not right. Right. So tell us what the cloud so kitchen how was. How was the God. God. No, I ain't God, trying to hit nigga, God shit with God. No. God. 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 For God. real, shout out to God because I've really been moving on faith my whole last three years. I don't no, know how to do it. No, you have to. As an entrepreneur, you did. Okay, all right. All right. I, I, I promise he you. Always, the no, because niggas just so throw real. God out for anything. No, God did. No, he did not. Yes, he did so. <laughs> I'm going to just drink my Ain't no stipends to get in no penthouse. Like. Listen, I'm telling you, God will put certain people in your life to make sure stuff happens the way it need to happen. Oh, you yeah. had a daddy with sugar. <laughs> that's that's okay. that. Shout out to you. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. That's the real, the real Big MVP. Chris. The real MVP. The real MVP. <laughs> but anyway, let's not go there. Let's oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, Cloud Kitchen. Cloud Kitchen. Yeah, we wanted to know. Cloud Kitchen is know. a kitchen where they have, like, several different restaurants all in one building. And you do, like, delivery service, so, like oh, Uber man. Eats, DoorDash, and all that. You can think of it like a salon suites, like how yeah, the salon okay. suites have a bunch of different hairstyles. That's okay. kind of how it is. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And it was it was a learning lesson. It was a good experience, you know. Wasn't for me, but mm-hmm. yeah, it pushed me into this. So that's why we're okay. sitting here now. Which is God is good. God's good. Shout God out to God. God. Shout out to Alan. You Yo, let, me tell you about, oh. <laughs> let me tell y'all about my friend though. Her business mind is really, really like sick like she really should like be a consult for people who need business oh, yeah. ideas yes she crazy <laughs> crazy but her business crazy. mind is really know. sick it's it's like yeah it's like out of this world so it's not a surprise to me that she done went from like all these different things in like two years i think i had to take i took baby steps in a sense but i didn't really it had no it's not a baby steps but so i think that there. yeah i don't have she a problem just jumping and is going to make it work. If I believe in it and I can see it, I can feel it, mm. then I'm with it. So have you ever jumped in this water and drowned? Yeah. No, not drowned. Not really drowned. Not but drown. water right here? Absolutely. Oh. Like this. <laughs> up to the, up to the <laughs> But I think all of that makes for a good business person. I don't Absolutely. think any business person, and I've worked with four, <laughs> Fortune 500 companies and big CEOs and execs, and all of them will tell you the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. nothing is perfect. Like, you don't have a crystal ball. You never know what's going to happen. So you really just got to keep going. And if you believe in it yourself, then everybody, everything else and everybody else is going to follow to whatever that's going to be. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that's good advice. Fair. You be getting yeah. money with she be saying Fortune Five is a penthouse. Y'all better yeah. have a fact on my best thing. She all lying <laughs> talking about this is not for clout. I'm not trying to shit on no, none of y'all. Trying, you feel me? I'm just showing y'all the journey. Oh, you know what I Yeah, she did. Look, I missed that shit. So, so let me tell you about that. So that post that I posted the other day, I just woke up. Cause sometimes I can complain a lot. Mm-hmm. I do that. I like get my my head and I'm yes, like, oh my god, it's just not working. I call her up a million times, like, and she be over me. I'm, like, I'm a sad, know. so I be like, girl. <laughs> so what we gonna do? Day, <laughs> that day that I woke up, I'm gonna plug my other business in this right here. So I told y'all I'm an event planner. So I have two other event spaces that are brand spanking new that'll be built from the ground up. Mm-hmm. And when I woke up that day. My other partner, because I feel like you should definitely have good investors and good friends, and that's why I'm always networking and trying to meet the next that person. Team is so important. Because you mm-hmm. never know. You might not see yourself with the capital to do what you got to do, but somebody else may see you for what it, the worth is. Like how mm-hmm. Kim was like, oh, yeah, her business is fine. So both of my partners, I think everything in my th- last three years is total alignment. So what I, I don't know what you want to call it. I call it God. I know it's God. But whatever you believe in or whatever that faith or manifestation or however you want to say that, mm-hmm. literally this whole year, the right people were put in all that's the right spaces mean. for me to get to the next spot. And that's so how you know it's for you. the two yeah. other buildings that I have, they're prime real estate. I didn't kick out any money yet. Wow. That's the owners gave us money to build. <laughs> and then yeah. I have a bomb partner. Shout out to Felicia X for the catering. Yeah. And woo, woo. <laughs> she believes in me 110 percent and she's handling that part while I'm working on this. But when I woke up that day, you saw the building. Mm-hmm. It's How did I miss it's it? It's amazing. Like I can't mm-hmm. even believe it's mine. Like my dream for that started six years ago. And that's why I say like you really had to be like faithful and believe what you want. And know that shit don't happen overnight. It Y'all don't happen overnight. When she said six years ago. <laughs> So but long did, ago that I be forgetting that she still had it. I wasn't bragging, okay. but I was, you know. Bragging. Like, you know, what's up? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't bragging, but you show, I'm showing you my shit. I wasn't head. bragging, but I'm going to let you know how this year about to go. Yeah. This year right here, yeah. Already. Already. Yeah, we lit. It's you lit. I, I want to be a you part lit. of it, though. <laughs> if we can be a Look, part of y'all, it, you lit. I'm telling y'all, like, just being her friend, none of this happened overnight. It was definitely... Stuff that she started along. But you know what I noticed too? Like, because I'm a realtor as well. Y'all know that. But developers that be having like Big Metro budget. Crossing and stuff like that, that should be like 10 years in the making. Yeah. Like, mm. people don't really understand like the patience that you need to have yeah. as an entrepreneur. I had this guy. So I came from real estate. I came from property management. So I think that helped me along my journey of being a business or entrepreneur and learning and knowing what I want out of my own business. And I never forget, I met this guy. He has a, a bunch of like, he has like maybe like 10 or 12 townhouses in Annapolis on the waterfront. He saw that property like 10, 15 years. He could see the vision of that mm-hmm. space. And at the time that he saw it, it was an old farm and this old man and this old lady had this farm, this land that he wanted. And it was mm-hmm. waterfront, so it was prime yeah, real estate. Yeah, was and they were like, nope. We ain't selling. <clears throat> he came back every year every for those year. 15 years. Finally, Damn. the husband died, hey, wait, and the wife was like, oh, yeah, they going to demonetize this shit. That music in the back, right? <laughs> so, yeah. you got to stay, you you gotta if stay you persistent. believe in what you want. Consistency. Yeah. You really got to stay yes. consistent with what you want. And he and, and guess what? He, he built 12 luxury townhouses. All of them was one point something million dollars. Damn. Damn. Michael Phelps bought one. They were sold out in that same week that we did the um, we did yeah, an event, a networking event for him. They sold wow. out in that same week. Wow. And he waited all that time, Damn. but he's a mega millionaire off of that Damn. one spot. That's, that's dope. That's amazing. That's, that's yeah, a testimony. That's a good story to help people get motivated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so y'all, we wouldn't be the All Things Go podcast if we didn't do a little messy. Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. that's what he like. Oh, what messy? Yeah. So yeah. let's yeah. let's. Yeah. Yeah. He like uh, loves some <laughs> messy shit here. I be wanting us to be wholesome and empowering, but he liked this old. 
Ash has a question. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know how this question was picked because uh, I just read it prior okay. to, so I don't have anything to do with it. Okay. But go on, Ash. Okay. First of all, are you going to read like uh, you read the last time? I know. Look, don't do that illiterate no, that shit. Was that, Ash. that was the edible that day, y'all. All don't right. judge me. All right. Okay, come I tell on. Question first: Are you dating? Or are you like what's going on? Okay, it's okay. That's a lot. <laughs> it's okay. So, is a man required to tell you another woman's pregnant if y'all are dating? Read the whole question. Wow. <laughs> That's the question we're going to start off with. Well, it also says keyword dating, which means he is not exclusive with one person. Mm. Say it again. <laughs> so, is a man required to tell you he got another woman pregnant if y'all are dating? Keyword dating, Absolutely. which means he is not exclusive with one person. Absolutely. I think that if you are entertaining somebody and you're giving them any kind of conversation on a daily basis, and especially if you're slinging a D, mm. then you need to be upfront yeah. about what it is that you got going on. But, I mean, if y'all are dating... What? The word dating <laughs> oh. is But dating could be different for other people. Different. And I feel like, like dating is different per age range. Time out. Damn. The word dating <laughs> in the dictionary is plural. What? It's not one Can person. Can we look that up? So wait a minute. Like, let me just Well, say I do believe it shouldn't be. Well, here's the thing. It depends. Who got so wait a minute. I don't got my phone. I got my phone. All right. I feel like you're dating. Hold up. Hold up. And hold up. we don't want the urban dictionary. We I want. feel like if you're dating. Because you know that'd be different. Dating is not. A sexual relationship. Dating is dating. But you could be so, dating and have sex with a person. So, like, but that's a, like, that's that's a different style of dating. No, so, not. yes, y'all. So is. my my so definition. Don't even date. So. Y'all, my definition of dating does not include multiple people. My definition of dating does include sexual intercourse. Who can we find the definition? But it's for me. My this is my yes. definition. It's more like a trial period. Like we're right. we're dating each other. We're having. sex sex we're seeing if we like each other and want to take it to the next level for me dating doesn't mean that i'm dating other guys too it just means that i'm dating you you're dating me and we're seeing if we want to make this thing exclusive well yeah no, I but i know like, that that it ain't sound like you already exclusive from your definition which is well so for me she, she exclusive right away she if she i am i am if she dating I am, God, that same day she like we go together and that's it yeah, yeah. So, when we have that. <laughs> That's not childish. I, no, that's not childish. That's naive. Fuck you. It's not naive. I'm telling you the truth. So, I mean, all right. So, so wait, no, wait a minute. Hold so up wait, on the definition. <laughs> let, me, let me clear this Time shit out. up. Let her read the definition. No, let me clear this shit up first. Okay. She got it's dinner. not exclusive for me. I don't date people that I don't fucking like. I don't need you to buy me dinner. I don't need $40. So it's no reason for me to continue to go out with you and I know I don't like you. If I'm dating a guy, I'm dating him because I like him. I right. can see a future with him. So it's no need for me to have these other dudes around that's a freaking distraction. All right, come on, because you keep if saying I, know that I, I and like me. You. What about the dude? You could like him and all that. He could still be fucking other women. He could be doing what he did. Then he's out of there. Then he got to run by her. Because that's that's a distraction. If you like me and you can see some potential in me, (laughs) and I can see some potential in you. A nigga could be dating three women and you don't even know about it. He might, but once I know, he out of there. Yeah. Oh, and that's something that you got to deal with because y'all was just dating. It's fine. Read the definition. So, wait a So, there's three of them. This is according to Oxford Languages, whatever. So, established... Or a a certain the date of, okay, no, Um, indicate or express as being old fashioned, go out with someone in. Go to Webster. What? When you're getting this definition? (laughs) Hold on, hold on. Go out with someone in whom is romantically or sexually interested. Let me go. All right, go to the Urban Dictionary. No, go to Webster. No, like, go, go to the, the right, go, right, go to okay, so, I think, so what's your definition of date, uh, dating? He's a real quick. Oh, so, so, real quick, we going to go down on uh, dating. dating. I'm, I'm Wait, going Webster on dates or? with different women, getting to know them, to see which one I might be more interested so, in. So, hold on. Are you having sex with, with all of them? So, are I'm you being honest with, with your dates? I don't have to. You can't have I'm not lying to him. We're going on a date. We're not together. We're going on so a date. So you have those conversations with these women. Why do I ever have, have a conversation <laughs> with you if we're going on a date? 
We not together for going on But she said if we're dating. But how many dates are we going on before right, we say, See, that's crazy because now we're saying as two people in an intimate relationship is dating. But it's like, it's weird. Like, I just feel like Because don't nobody really know. That's how yeah, it's it different is. definitions it's for ghetto. Ghetto. So, my, y'all heard what my <laughs> Let me definition see what is. is. <laughs> and if at any Please time I find that. my dude my dating somebody else. Of dating is, my definition so, of dating is that I feel like you should date if, in the dating phase, let me be very clear. In the dating phase. Oh, what's the dating phase? Like, is it one to three months, one to six months, one to I think before months. you guys make a, you guys say that, like, y'all committed to each other. But people don't people. really be like, all right, we committed now. I ask. What, I what we got going How on? do you ask? I would love to hear that. I'd be like, like nigga, you in a death row contest. Like, <laughs> and what, 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 what answers have like, you got from that? Wait, what she say? Who am I to you? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's the, that's the question you? right there. I'm asking my Who friend am I that. To that nigga gonna be like my friend. Because like, I feel like the, the, <laughs> the worst thing that can happen is they say nobody or like, I don't know. No one's gonna say The girl nobody. down the street or something like that. Even say, your friend, your person, 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 That don't mean he not talking about And then you follow that up to, so are we exclusive? Are you exclusively dating me? Are we dating other people? What's up? Bullshit. Even a dictionary. And most guys lie. Lie. But. Lie. Dating is dictionary. plural. Facts. But I mean, how is what you mean plural? Like people. 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 Well, I Multiple. think that once I think just I do. I, do. I, I agree. I feel like dating I is when you date a bunch of different. Well, not a bunch of different. Some people date. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I think that that don't. This, I once you make a once you make a choice that you like the one person that you like and y'all are committed to doing that together or whatever. Y'all can make that's that's no longer dating. Y'all. See, y'all. I really that's feel no longer like, dating. That's building a relationship. Y'all. I really feel like that's dating. bullshit because I feel like. I feel like, all right, so let's make this known. It's always somebody better. It's always somebody prettier. It's always somebody more athletic. It's always somebody with a bigger. So the grass is greener. It's, it's always. Tighter. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's all, right, all of that. It's always somebody better. So for me, I just feel like if you're dating someone, you, I, I feel like you shouldn't be dating multiple people because the other people are going to be a distraction. Like, you know the saying, like, if I could put together well, this guy, this guy, date, that guy. I don't think you're dating forever like that. I think that but some people and really you're dating do date forever because they feel like, oh, I get this But that's not this. dating. That's just being a hoe. I know, but I feel like I feel like for me, like if you for me, dating is a trial period. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if I'm dating him and him. One of them is a distraction because ultimately you like one more than the other. Yeah. So you're just keeping the other one around because they provide something that the other one don't, but no one is perfect. So someone is always going to have something that the other one don't. So you just admitted that dating is plural. Mm. My nigga, what I told you was. <laughs> you just said if I'm me, dating him and him. Dating, I said if I was to date him and him. I'm so not dating never, him and so him. So you never dated him and him. You always date one person at a time. I know it. Don't damn lie. Don't say one at one time. Be honest, Arca. She's lying. She does. She's been my friend because she goes because I just told you what I told you. Like if she meets somebody, okay, she is a I hopeless see. romantic. Co- time out. She conflicting words. Maybe because because yeah. there's dating, but she might be like, oh, I talk to multiple people, but we're not dating. Is that what we? No, want? no. So if I talk, all right. So prime example. It was like, I had stopped messing with one guy and I was like, all right, I'm going outside. I came outside. I was talking to like five people. That's too much for me. So I quickly You was talking to five people? Yes, bitch. I've been talking to five like, people. I swear I was. I swear I was. That's dating. She was in a date. I date. you. I got energy to go on a date with all them niggas. That was dating. Did. It was not dating. I got their number. I had a couple of conversations. I figured, yeah, I don't like him. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. And I, it came down to one but person. But really, probably what you should have done, what, what the way they say that you should, like in all the books and shit like what that. What book? Because we couldn't even find what the fuck date meant. <laughs> 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 so, what book? They be telling you, like, you should date to kind of find out if that match is, like, what is the better match? I be knowing. Exactly. Because what happens no, is, it's not a what happens is always when, the better. It's when, when, one at a time. What happens is when you do that, when you meet one guy right away, you like, damn, the vibe is right or whatever. I do like him. I can see it. And you, I'm not going to say settle, but you, you kind of commit in a way is what you're saying because you use that as a trial period. Why waste 90 days on a motherfucker that, like, I don't want to get to 90 days and be like, damn, that wasn't it. And so I got I, So the guy I've been you know, dating like, now, I've been out, dating for six can we, months. Can we get her definition of dating? Because we didn't even get it. Okay. Because oh, it's bullshit. We couldn't really 
from, oh, no, from oh, 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 your, oh, no, your personal, oh. your personal. Um, dating, I feel like for me, it probably is different stages, but I think I do want to see with multiple people not like i'm just out here dating a whole bunch of people but i'm gonna i'm gonna like put my egg like i'm not gonna put all my eggs in one basket Nah, yeah. right. And I feel like I once you know, like in that dating phase, once you realize, like, oh, okay, yeah, this like my person right here. One person. Once you get your person, then I feel like y'all. Then that's when you like, okay, I'm not dating nobody else. So what's up? Yeah, yeah. Are you I need just, to talk to them about like, it. Are we exclusively doing this, this or what we doing? I feel like I at a certain age, but a lot of times, I'm gonna tell y'all an example. Let's get back to this question, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> You know, I can't put my business out because I'm gonna just shut yeah, up. No, I can't. Just use fake no, names. I can't. <laughs> you know, shit happens, right? I get it. But I think that, I think the best way when you really like somebody, if you like that person, is to be honest, right? People because are most honest. women, yeah. most I'm women honest. will, if they really fuck with you and they like you, whatever the case may be, they are going to probably go with not with the flow but understand what the but situation the is so it, you gonna give a nigga a pass is that what you're trying to say maybe well, yeah. the thing about it if we're just dating you're i don't owe you that information you definitely do I because i can tell you if i want but so what you niggas don't realize so wait a minute that honesty will get what? you way more pussy than how is it not so i just have a lying. question if you if you, if you met a girl if you met a girl right y'all out or whatever the case may be and y'all had typical so the people find out when the baby here and shit. And y'all, then, had, y'all had typical conversation like, like hey, you have kids, da, 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 da. What is your answer? Do I have kids? See, she's pregnant, so... Technically, <laughs> I don't have kids. That's a kid. That's a kid. It's not a kid. It is. So at that and moment... She can have a mix. She can have a miscarriage. She can have a mix. But why not say anything? Listen, what makes y'all not want to say something? It's not that I not, don't want to say anything. It's just the fact that it's not really your business because we're just dating. If we're, <laughs> well, maybe it's different baby, stages of dating. Than this. Get yeah. me out of here. I think I'm... I think answer. dating is... I'm a little in the 40s and the 50s or something because this ain't it. <laughs> well, I've yeah. had, I had that situation happen to me. Oh yeah, damn. And not all. It was it was yeah. And we so, was, we was we were so to me. Y'all was in a relationship. To me, we were in a relationship. So stage. you felt like he cheated on you and got this. Definitely. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So but but, but so your box was. <laughs> No, my box won, baby. You see where I'm sitting at and what I told you with all the things I got. I won. I oh, yeah. always win. I'm still winning. Did, 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 Be like, clear. Did she have a baby? <laughs> She did, but I don't want no baby, so whatever. Yeah, really. Keep the baby. Keep the baby, bitch. I don't want that motherfucker. It's you cool. want the nigga? And you just called the baby the motherfucker. I got the nigga. I got the nigga. Oh, you got the nigga. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> this is turned real bad. <laughs> so you got all my kids. All my stepkids. I love all of them. Even the ones that I don't even really know about. I love them all. How many is it? <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Listen, that bag long, you know, some stuff. Hey, yo. is what it's I can't even be. believe it. <laughs> edit that out. Can you edit that part out? Wait, no <laughs> edit. No, no, no. Oh, no. no fuck <laughs> it. You know, edit. Sorry. No, but I think when you love somebody, I really do love them. I love him. I love him. Love him. Like, you love him or the bag? No, I love him. Or you love him because the bag comes along with him? No. It's not even about the bag. I really do love him. But from what you were just saying, you couldn't go through with that, but you actually went through with it. Cause I love him. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, like in my in my right side of my brain, I'll be like, that shit was fucked up. I should leave you. And I'm not gonna say stuff didn't happen or whatever in between there. But oh, so you got your get I back. stay down with the situation. No, no she haven't. I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Thing, they've been loyal and <laughs> nah, try to okay like that. <laughs> I don't. So here's the thing. In my relationship with my son's dad, I used to do the get back thing all the time. And this age, in this era that I'm in, I don't even want you to get back. Like, I'm really like, I'm just. You like cool Mario Wines? What's who that? <laughs> I don't want No, I know that the song is like, you say, oh. I definitely have yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely have it. Oh, no. Because my heart can't take it anymore. Please don't let it. Um, so listen. Oh, oh baby, I don't want to know. Listen, just call me little Ray Charles. Okay. <laughs> I don't see shit. 
I feel like God, my hotel damn. under come on. Is that, if not happy at home, I'm happy at home. So it is what it is. Oh, I fuck with that. Okay. You got, right. you got somebody else with that mindset. Come on. <laughs> Is your bag long enough? Like, no, I'm just <laughs> no, no, bag, show bag, show bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking. I don't I'm know why. Kidding. It's the tequila talking. Yeah. So y'all, like this, this has been <laughs> a very, very good time. Y'all yes. remember the name Erica <laughs> Ash with the crazy crab bag. Erica and, let's, a. and let's shout out your, your business partner. Oh, so shout out to Toy, Latoya Jones. That's my business partner for the Crazy Crab Bag. Crazy so crazy bag. shout out to her. She she didn't make it. We was here all night putting up tables and shit. So Aww. yeah. So where can um people find you as far as like website, social media? So social media, IG and Facebook and TikTok is at the Crazy Crab Bag. And if you want to find out more information about us or send us your information, you can go to www.bemorecrazycrabbag.com. Bitches. So are you looking for any, like, uh, waitresses or bartenders? We are still hiring. So we are hiring for all positions. So servers, waitresses, servers, bartenders, kitchen staff. Okay. All that good stuff. So y'all still got time to be a Y'all still got time to be a part. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. So is there right. anything else you want to tell the people? What? Maybe something inspirational. Okay. Maybe entrepreneurial. Okay. <laughs> I know what she's about to say already. Thank God. I would say, God was in my life. God did. Shout out to God. Shout out to God. But shout out I would say that God. if you have a vision, go for it. Don't wait. Just do it. And don't stick around with no niggas that got babies and all that. I was just kidding. <laughs> okay. Well, you don't want to call to you? <laughs> We ain't clapping that shit. I know you both clapped at the same time. <laughs> and I'm just holding on to my dream. <laughs> it because. No. But no, if you can feel it, if you can taste it, if you can see it, if you smell it, go for it. Just that means it's a winner. Mm. That's it. You talking about the business or a nigga? The both. 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 Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, Biggie. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey. This I'm is sure. fun. On that note, you want to close out? You smiling? We, can, we didn't even shout us out too. So, yeah. oh yeah, oh, so, yeah. Out now. so who are you? I'm DJ Ash, mom. Baby, I'm Kay Alexander, your hairstyle and realtor. Yes, <laughs> I'm just E. I don't know what it is. Damn. Damn. E. All hey. right, trust. All things go. <laughs> All things. All go. things go. We podcast. out. We out, man. Dragon on this beat.